Is this your first summer with your dog? And are you wondering what activities you can do with your dog this uh, time of the year? Well, here are my five summer activities I do with my dogs. Hi, I'm Itka, happy dog mom to five mischievous terriers. I've always been passionate about dogs and being in the pet industry for over 30 years, including winning international dog grooming competitions, representing England and being placed at the World Team Championship and winning Dog Grooming Salon of the Year award. The knowledge I gained over the years, plus my diplomas in canine massage and clinical aromatherapy, have uh, led me to be the proud founder of Vitacanis, aromatherapy products for dogs and their owners. Paddling and swimming. This is the most obvious summer activity, as you can imagine. When it comes to water, all my dogs are different. Mr. Tank just loves water and so does Martha, my other Scotty. So now both of them in a paddling pool, digging. Um, he loves uh, his paddling pool so much and when he gets over excited, he bites the pool's walls and <laughs> to the point where we just can't use it anymore. So as a result, we've gone through quite a few uh, of them over the years. <laughs> Um, Adele and Tinkerbell are hiding in the house and they are not too keen on water. They don't like really to get wet. And Richard, well, he hates water with passion. <laughs> he runs away from the house and he won't even step into a puddle. When we went for hydrotherapy, he wouldn't even move on the water treadmill for the first few sessions and stayed glued to the belt. No idea why. Hills and beaches. Dogs love hiking, walks on the beach and exploring new places. Be sure to find a dog-friendly beach and trail. And don't uh, forget your poo bags, water, treats and snacks because these are your necessities. If you often go hiking and on the beach holidays with your dog, check his paws regularly. Years ago, we went for an uh, all-day hike and my poor dog Blondie, my Hoavad, uh, scraped her paws um, on the rocks we were walking on. And looking back now, I wish I had a soothing antiseptic spray and a paw butter at the time. They would have made such a difference for her. Popsicles and ice cream. This is where you can get really creative. Mash your dog's favorite fruit or veggies, like for example here I have uh, pineapple, watermelon, strawberries, blueberries. Um, mash all these together. You can also add some veggies or you can put them in a blender and then you just uh, add the mixture to your favorite mold and freeze and then voila you have frozen doggy treats you can also use uh, meat or veggie stock with chunks of meat or vegetables And what to do with leftovers? Enjoy! Here is a very simple recipe for a healthy, delicious ice cream you can share with your dog. All you need is three or four bananas. Slice the bananas and put them in a covered container. Freeze for at least 12 hours. Allow thawing for five minutes before processing in a food processor until light and whippy like. Then you can serve the ice cream for yourself with some chopped nuts, cream, chocolate chips and other toppings. But for a dog, maybe add some blueberries or strawberries, but definitely not chocolate chips. Twist with a pong. 
Does your dog like the conch as much as my dogs? Have you thought about filling it with something delicious like meat, mashed veggies or peanut butter and then freezing it? Give it a try and let me know if it's a hit. Also, you can try to fill cow hoof and freeze it same like the conch. Just added some veggies. Kefir. You can get creative as much as you like. Early morning or late evening walks. My dogs and I are morning people. And Sasha here as well. She is not my dogs, but she's staying with me in my boarding kennels. Most often than not, you will find us out in the early morning walking around the quarry behind our house. I love early mornings and in summer with the quietness, haze and breeze and no one around except me and the dogs. What are your summer activities <coughs> <and> your dogs? <coughs>